welcome to my floss tube channel thread the needle and this is my vlogmas day eight uh, we're gonna start with my coffee of the day uh today is pancake and maple syrup you know i don't know how they do this how they infuse all these flavors into the coffee but it does taste like pancake and syrup and maple syrup. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but it is what it is. And it's, it's pretty darn good. And it's not too sweet. You would think pancake and maple syrup would be too sweet of a coffee, but it's actually not that bad. Oh my. All right, everyone. So, uh, let's move on to, uh, my gift exchange with my friends. I'm just going to go to this one cause it's right here next to me. And we're going to open the bow very nicely tied. Oh, there's some tape holding the bag together. So hang on. Oh, there's no salvaging the bag. Okay. Ooh, all right. We've got some homemade goodies. So we've got this which I think it says uh, beets. So I'm going to say that they're pickled beets, which is kind of cool, right? And this <sighs> blueberry jam. <sighs> Does it get any better than homemade blueberry jam? I love it. So thank you. Thank you. That's going to be lovely. Now I'm take some more coffee. And then we're going to move on to the wax melt. I'm still super excited about yesterday's. Um, it was the candy cane wax melt. Oh, it was just the best. Oh, wait, I got to look at the wax melt first. Day eight. Where are you? Oh, there we are. Okay. I'm kind of excited about Christmas Day. Do you see how big that one is? All the regulars are all same size, but this one is like humongous. So it's very exciting. Okay. Let's see if I can get this out easier than the last one. Oh, look at this lovely color. It's like a, a lavender purplish color. I like it. I swear there has to be an easier way. Aha. Okay. Let's see what design it is same as yesterday. And from those of you that commented, I understand that it's some kind of uh, pudding, which is, I don't know if it's going to focus. Anyway, is that better there? Okay. So thank you for letting me know because you know, funnily enough, I bought this off of Etsy and then when it came, I realized it was coming from England. So that totally makes sense, hey? I'm not able to identify this. It smells kind of fruity, but not really. Spices and fruit, okay, let's find out. I'm totally gonna be way off. Okay, this was day eight. Where is eight? It's not in the same place that it is on the front, so I can't find number eight. I Like, I'm not even joking. I'm looking for number eight and it's not there. Okay, hang on. Got, I'm going to go line by line looking for number eight. I'm wondering if they skipped it. I'm not seeing number eight. Okay, I'm going to go through them. 22, 18, 2, 19, 24, 4, 10, 17, 5. Aha, found it. Ooh, I'm not far off. It's mold pear and cranberry. Oh, that's so interesting. <clears throat> okay. So that's lovely. I'm going to lay that right there. So those are my exchanges and my calendars. <clears throat> oh, I'm just having so much fun with you all. And I'm so happy that I get to share it with you. Next, we move on to the stitching portion of the day. Um, 
I was tasked with working on Peacock Fantasy and the challenge that I received for it was stitch 150 stitches. It's okay, I don't need that anymore. Um, and I got into a bit of a groove and I got more than 150 stitches. I'd say I got about 250, almost 300, but I didn't uh, touch it. I would say closer to 250. So I'm actually super excited because I almost finished the diagonal on it. So here's how much I got done. You know what, actually, I'm going to take it off of the Q-snap so you can see it a bit better. There we go. At least just the top snap anyway. Here. Here's what I got done. So it's really nice. I got uh, some of this was already there, of course, as you can see, but I filled in a lot of the blue down here. So I'm very happy with how that challenge went. And that's my Peacock Fantasy. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be beautiful when it's done. So excited about that one. And coming up for today's stitch, it was between uh, Ayana and Autumn Owl Trio. And I know you all out there, as much as myself, have a, have a fondness for the owls. So Autumn Owl Trio won. So that's what I'll be stitching on today. And shall we see what the challenge is? I'm going to shake it up first because I had two in a row that were the same. So I'm not going to get that same one again. But let's see what this is. Autumn Owl Trio. Aha! Let's see how I can figure this out. Stitch on one detail and try to finish it. So basically, for example, if in the pattern, I don't have it here with me, but um, let's say in the area that I'm stitching or I can pick an area that I'm stitching, pick on a detail. So like, let's say the eye, I have to finish all the stitches in the eye before moving on. Or for example, if it was World Travel Bookshelf, you know that spot where the hot air balloon is? I would have to complete the hot air balloon. So that's basically what it means. Stitch on one detail and try to finish it. So I can't remember how far I am on Autumn Owl Trio to if an eye is workable or not. I'll have to see or I might have to move to a different location on the chart. Um, yeah, so that'll be a fun one. Let's see uh, how I make out with that. So thank you again for joining me here today on my day eight of my Vlogmas. As always, it's been lots and lots of fun. Um, I'm really enjoying it um, because it's like a little extra. Even, you know, the kids and my husband know that, oh, mom's going to make her video today. And it's like a little bit extra joy that I get out of uh, an everyday thing that makes December a little bit extra special because December's can get quite hectic. And making these videos doesn't help that part, but making them also makes me so happy because I get to share with you the love that I have of all this cross stitch and it's just a fun way to showcase it hey and spread the love and joy of the holidays so happy holidays can't wait to see you tomorrow bye everyone <coughs>